Yo, what's going on, guys? Shake it Bags back, and today we are up on the my team. I don't know, I just kind of want to discuss some things. Obviously, talk about last night, the first night of basketball. Got some, uh, I don't know, just some things I want to talk about. Wanted to rant a little bit about my team, I guess, and I figured y'all might want to listen to this. Um, I really don't know what we're doing. This is just a random video, bro. I don't know, I'm waiting for the Celtics to start. And I, it's, it's just taking forever, bro. But it is opening night for the Celtics and the rest of the NBA. We saw the first two games last night. We did get a moments card. Finally, bro, it's like 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Are they going to really release these moments this late in the day? Like last year, I guess they are. So, um, yeah, but there's Yakum. It looks pretty cool, but then when you actually, like, get to the stats, bro, they kind of rough. Um, maybe it's not fair to compare them to, like, Sean Kemp or Kevin Love, but they're just not that great. And then we look at the badges. Seven gold badges, ten silver, six bronze. It's really not that great of a card. Um, like, I, I really hope nobody's paying 100k for this, bro. You're just wasting your empty, but it, it's, it's really not that great. <laughs> like, okay, we can compare it to the Chris Weber, which we you can technically get again for free by just playing the challenges. It's got a little bit better of a three and free throw, but everything else is just dramatically worse. A lot worse on defense. <sighs> Rebounding's a little bit better, but speed with balls worse. A lot of things are just worse. And he has, again, he has zero playmaking badges, too. I saw that. Not a single one. <laughs> Some defensive ones. And, yeah, I don't know. No Hall of Fame badges, obviously. But uh, just not a great card. It's cool looking. Look at the freaking uh, the, the fire in the background. That looks dope. It's probably Moments are going to be some of the cooler cards. And, honestly, it's one of the things I'm excited for most, I guess, with my team right now. Just because I like watching the games. And I'm really into NBA right now. But... I don't know. Not a lot I'm looking forward to my team-wise, I guess. There is also the heat checks, too, which you guys saw me open some of these yesterday. It was so funny, too. That's another thing. So I read through the comments, and I got dudes hating on me for sticking and doing exactly what I said I was going to do. But actually, I said I might buy VC, and I didn't do that. So I don't even understand that. Um, guys were calling me all kinds of stuff in the comment section. Wait, did I spend any more VC? No. Haven't spent any. In fact, I made VC yesterday. I played a game of blacktop, and I made, like, 200 VC. <laughs> That's kind of funny because, yeah, I, I, Ta Taco Fall's been added to the game, but he ain't in my team, though, which is kind of annoying, and their logic for it kind of doesn't make sense at all. I, I asked Robbie why um, Taco Fall and Tremont Waters aren't in my team. They're on official NBA contracts. They're on two-way contracts, which are official NBA rosters and stuff, and they sh they're in 2K, but they're not in my team. And he's told me that the... the Heat checks are, I, I, I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't be added to the normal base ones, but the heat checks are a copy of the base rosters, but that's simply not true, which mm, they're kind of fibbing a little bit. Like, look at this. Okay, so 17 players in the Rockets. This guy is literally on a two-way contract. This, I, I, think that, I think it's this guy. Trayvon Duvall. If we go over to the base for the Rockets, bro, it ain't 17 players there. That dude don't even exist, so... How are those a copy of the base ones when I just showed factual evidence that proves that's not true? So someone ain't telling the truth. Uh, or there's just magic mystery cards that I like. Like, how is that a copy if there's differences? I don't understand that. And some of these, there's probably more examples too. So I don't understand why some players aren't in the game, but others are. Like, I want to play with Taco Fall. That would be really cool. But we have to wait for a My Team Moments card, which who even knows that's going to happen? <laughs> uh, yeah, I just don't know. He's not playing tonight. He is out with a, uh, I think the concussion or something. I don't know. He got whacked in the head in the preseason. But Celtics play Sixers tonight. Should be good stuff. Um, I guess while we're ranting, let's talk about the heat checks because we just were. All right. So it's been about, it's been about what, 14 to 16 hours since the last game. Okay. So you would think that the next day the heat checks would be activating. We've already gotten a moments card, so clearly they, you know, they even gave us moments challenges, which I love. If we get moments challenges every day, that is a improvement from last year, a definite improvement, because we did not get that. Every, like, once every, like, three, four weeks, maybe we got a moments challenge, and usually it wasn't that great. But today we got two. If we could get these every day, it would be incredible. I don't know how hard that is. And can it really be that hard to give us a, a challenge every day? Can't you just schedule them every day and then just, I don't know, change the teams and change the rewards? Is that that hard? I don't know. But... Um, the hit checks, <laughs> they're not on fire. <laughs> and that's the thing with this. This is a time sensitive thing. And this is why I feel like the heat checks are just, they're just too much work for them. I don't know how many people they have working on these kind of stuff over there, but it just feels like it's too much work because 
I don't, I mean, I don't even know how you could update these every day, but they're supposed to. That's the whole point of that. And then he checks, I, I feel like they should be dynamic cards, honestly. Like, I know that kind of does take the point away from moments, but, or, they, or maybe they should just scrap each check cards. They're nice for collections. That's the only reason I really care about them, but I thought we were going to get some changes. They talked about the four tiers that they could jump, but yeah, none of these, uh, none of these cards are on fire. And none of them. Fred Van Lee had a great game last night. Would be kind of cool if we saw his card was on fire. It's like a, it's supposed to go up, you know, four tiers if it goes all the way. He had, I think, a career high last night. Kind of shocked he didn't get a moments card. Uh, and yeah, still a 78. So, <laughs> and then we got a guy like Danny Green, who as well for the Lakers went off and carry. He was carrying them, bro. If it wasn't for him, they probably would have lost by, not because he was cold, bro. But it wasn't for him. They probably would have lost by 20, 25. Like, he was super good. What do you have, 28 or something last night? I think he was like seven for nine from three. Still a 75. I just don't understand that. I, I'm like, well, you can, you can say, oh, well, you're expecting way too much of them. You know, you got to give them time, but this is a time-sensitive thing. I don't know when the Lakers play next. Probably tomorrow night. They don't play tonight, I don't think. But, like, bro, if you already behind when there's only two teams and two sets of games, so, okay, four teams, how are you going to keep up with all 30 teams on a nightly basis? I just don't understand that. They, they weren't able to keep up with it last year either, too. They did explain in the blog that, you know, Clay Thompson went up for 50 that one night, and he wasn't on fire, and then they said, oh, well, it's because he had five bad games before that yeah i don't believe that i just think y'all just didn't have the the manpower to update 30 teams i mean i imagine it would take probably 30 people just to watch all these games and know hey Taylor horton tucker had a bad game or had a good game last night let's put him up one tier instead of three or four tiers like i i just don't know how they're gonna manage that man so the hit checks they just seem like they're too much for my team to handle um so yeah a little annoying that we don't have those on fire maybe they'll be on fire by the time this video's up probably not though I mean, I waited. I've waited all day here. I was like, okay, let me check and see where the heat checks are. Okay, they're still not on fire. No one's on fire. Okay, I mean, the next set of games is almost on. Like, So now you're already behind, and then it's like, this is supposed to be a time sensitive thing, as I said. I don't know. I wasn't. This wasn't really meant to be a rant video, but I guess it turned into that. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, pretty cool stuff. Um, I was a little concerned because when I first added the, uh, they first added this moments card, it didn't say it was in in uh heat check packs but it is it just doesn't like show when you hit the triangle or y button it just doesn't show the card but if you look over here it does show it's in packs for four days that feels longer than older moments cards weren't they only in packs for like 36 or 48 hours maybe I, it definitely wasn't like full five days like that that's a long time like i feel like it might have been 36 hours or i don't know it, it seemed like it's different so this is the first moment card it could change but Pascal Siakam in packs for five full days. That's a long time, man. Definitely is. Um, pull a couple of heat check packs. That's literally all I've been doing, pretty much. Logged on yesterday, played a little bit. I don't know. The desire to play and grind the game mode right now is... It's at an all-time low, and for the start of the season, that's not very good, bro. That's definitely not. All right, we got a duplicate right there. That's, that's kind of tough. I, I was opening these, and then... Man, I went on a stretch where I pulled like seven of them in a row and didn't get any heat check players. Right there, we do get one. That's kind of nice. But uh, you can't get two in these. So if you get the, you can't get the heat uh, moments card in this if, if you get a heat check. So um, Labassier, not bad. I think I have them already. Yeah, I do. Man, I'm pulling the same ones and I only have like maybe 30 of them. <laughs> I'm already pulling duplicates. But we'll pull a couple of these right here. So yeah, I, I spent almost what 400k mt and we really don't have that many heat check players so yeah those packs definitely cooled down for me the odds i don't know if they tuned them down but they were at like 50 percent or more in that video for me getting heat check players and they got, they got all worse yesterday so i stopped pulling those and i pulled some of these deluxes which i guess i don't know again if you're pulling them with mt and you have a lot that's cool bro um george hill but i really wouldn't pull these with vc and that's why i find it so ridiculous for people call me a hypocrite when like I, I i literally said in that video too like i kind of want to spend vc but i'm gonna try not to i think that's exactly what i said but but like i'm doing exactly that like i don't even i don't even get it man very confused i don't know how to please some of y'all man i guess you can't please everyone i know people still want me to open up packs and spend vc but we're not gonna do that we're not um i'm sticking to what i said i think we get a sapphire in this pack i mean y'all are still getting a couple empty pack of ones here which is better than nothing so yeah but i i do need to get some gameplays out i gotta get a 12 and 0 run going before the end of this month i don't think 
goes for anything. Apparently, I quick sold the Nets playbook yesterday. I didn't even realize. That definitely goes for some MT. See, I just don't pay attention sometimes, and it happens like that because I, I think it goes for like 5 to 10K. So that was definitely a L by me. Uh, uh, Jer Mario, Jer Mario Jones? I don't know how you say that dude's name. My goodness, I've never heard of that dude. But yeah, it would be cool if we could get Taco Fall a, a My Team card, even if it's just the base one, 68 overall. I would still have fun with that. Like, I'm looking forward to stuff like that, bro. But, I mean, who knows when he actually gets a Moments card and stuff like that. So, hopefully tonight's game is pretty good. I'm pretty sure Joel Embiid's going to absolutely dominate the Celtics. Um, So, that's not good. I am not expecting too much tonight. Oh, Brett Brown. Jeez, right on cue. A 76er. Coach. Yeah, I'm not expecting much, man. Like, I, I don't know if they're starting Rob Williams or Daniel Tice, but whoever they start, Embiid is just going to dominate them, bro. Embiid usually plays really well against the Celtics. And now, we don't even have Al Horford, so he's going to just go off, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, it's, it could be a rough game tonight. I hope they win, but I'm definitely not expecting a win, as I said in yesterday's video. But I do still expect the Celtics to win. I think they're going to go pretty close to 50 games. I saw there was a... Uh, they're over and under for the season for the, like the betting odds, like 48 and a half. So I, I, I mean, I would take the over on that. I would, um, I don't know what the odds are for, for actually, you know, if you bet on that, but, um, I don't bet like that, but I, I do find it. Vegas says they're going to be pretty good. Usually they're going to be around there. All right. few more packs and that's it. Again, I, this isn't like a pack opening video. I just wanted to talk about some basketball. Uh, I, did I even really talk about last night's game? So I, I kind of missed, a, a, like the second half of the freaking, the first game, because Hulu was tripping last night. I canceled cable because cable is over, it's way overpriced, bro. Like, my cable and internet bill used to be, like, damn near close to 300 freaking dollars, which is, that's absurd. That's, that's freaking absurd. And instead, now, I pay 50 bucks for cable and, like, less than $100 for fiber. Like, so I save myself 150 bucks a month. It's a no-brainer. But when nights like yesterday happen and, Hulu Live, it's like basically just cable but live on the streaming app, and it was just having problems for everyone. I saw people were struggling to watch the World Series. Maybe that was why they were overloaded with traffic. Um, he got cut, didn't he? I think they waved him. Uh, but yeah, I missed basically the entire ending. Of, I saw them going to overtime. I couldn't watch the final seconds of every possession, though. Like, it would just, it kept lagging, reloading, then skipping backwards. It was so bad. It was the worst. And I've had Hulu Live for about a not about a year maybe like eight to ten months and it's never done that it's been so good so i don't know that was really frustrating <laughs> definitely was malik monk right there so hopefully tonight's a little bit better i was able to watch the lakers game at least the second half i kind of tuned out in the first half. just i was pissed from that freaking it, my hulu was just screwing up and i was like i can't watch i had to keep pressing buttons on the controller on the xbox trying to rewind fast forward there's ads it was awful bro so many commercials everything was just a nightmare so yeah not the funnest opening night but it was good watching the end of the lakers game that was really good um third and fourth quarter was awesome like clippers went on a run lakers went on a run it's crazy how good those teams are bro the clippers look really good the lakers they got potential lebron james a lot of people were hating on him but he actually played really freaking good defense last night like like, there was a couple possession where it's like 2-3 on 1, and he, he managed to get the stop. Like, that shouldn't happen in the NBA ever. Like, you got 3 on 1. Y'all should be scoring 99% of the time. Like, it should be a layup, a jumper. Someone should be scoring. Like, there was a couple where Kawhi made a really nice pass, and then I think, it, I, I can't remember, someone sold it. It was a really bad layup attempt. Like, barely hit the backboard. It looked like, I don't know, it was really rough. So, there was a few where he got like a block, like, a really nice chase down. Like, I don't even get how he does those, by the way. Like, I keep thinking, like, how do the players not just, like, put the ball at the backboard? Like, I don't have the athleticism to do that, but I know there are people that do that can literally just run to the backboard and lay it up right at the backboard, like, right off the glass. And, like, the people who can, like, slap the backboard probably could do that. But, um, I can touch the backboard, but I can't slap it like that. Um, <laughs> uh, but, like, why did they not do that? Because then, if he touches the ball after it hits the backboard... It's an automatic goal. I don't get why people don't even attempt. I never see anyone try that, I feel like. Or, like, nobody ever tries to reverse it. Like, the layup attempt that he did last night where LeBron James did the Igu Dala chase down block, like, you just gave it to him, basically, when you just throw it up like that before you're even at the backboard. I don't understand that. Like, like you know LeBron. He looks and sees him coming, too. So, like, 
Bro, I don't even understand that, man. I uh, Maybe I'm just not that good of a basketball. Maybe I just don't get it, but I would like to see someone try and lay it up right at the backboard. So, literally, it leaves your hand, hits the backboard, and then LeBron James has to either hit it out of your hand right as it's doing that, which maybe he could. Maybe that's why they don't do that, but I don't know. I feel like I've never seen anyone really try and do that, so it would be kind of cool to see that, but you'd obviously have to make it really late timing, and then I guess if he doesn't block it, maybe it's not going in, but... I don't know. Kind of interesting. I, I thought about that last, and I was like, man, they're just like, it, it seems like they just throw it up, and they're like, I hope he doesn't get it. Like, like you know he's not gonna, he's gonna get it. So, I don't know. I thought he played really solid on defense, but if he's gonna be the point guard and guy running the offense, he has to push the issue more. I don't think he did enough of that. Anthony Davis still looked pretty good at times. That team's gonna be good. It's definitely gonna be good, but not their finest night, and yeah. Danny Graham's going off, bro. They need, they need role players to play like that. Avery Bradley did not look good either. That was another thing. He looked terrible. Every time I, I saw him shoot, I was like, man, he gonna miss this. It just, the shots were not falling. I think he was like two for seven. So I don't know. Um, pretty good at night of NBA basketball. One more pack. We just really spent like 150 KMT like that. We didn't get anything but maybe like five or six new cards. Oof, yikes, bro. Uh, these packs are expensive at 10K a piece. They are probably not worth it. Probably be better off just buying the cards off the auction block yeah definitely would i got one of the bucks players <laughs> i still haven't bought these cards because i feel like they're again their price is going to come down especially as more people rick them look at that for 5k this card was price fixed to like 7 to 8 to 9k yesterday so prices definitely will come down on these and I'm not really in a rush because as i told y'all like it's incredibly disappointing that i feel like you can't actually like use them like this Giannis, like say Giannis goes off for 50 i don't know if they're playing tonight i'm just gonna assume they are say he go off for 50 if they don't update, then what's the point of a freaking heat checks? Because if he go up for 50, this is a heat check you'll want to have or something. Because he going up four tiers, he might be like a 97, 98. That would actually be freaking sick. But, like, I also saw the Jason Tatum. They showed him the promo image that, like, he starts out at, like, what, uh, 83? But then they showed his max tier was a 90. Which, bro, if he scores 50, he only goes up to a 90? I don't... I, I, what? Really? I don't like how they cap it off, too. Like, if this guy goes up and scores 80 or 100 freaking points, something nasty, his heat check should be freaking on fire. It should be 99. Like, something like that. So, I, I don't know. I hope they tweak the system. I hope they have the manpower to get this up running and working for this year. And it actually is something that we want to monitor. Because, like, I wake up and I'm like, oh, cool. Heat check should be activated. They're not activated. And then just through the day and they're not activated got got some of the kings going on we probably could do this set for not too bad i think that's the most i have or or the magic four of 13 so i'll probably come back and do some of these again probably gonna stop opening the packs they're really not giving me the value <laughs> out of uh them so yeah even even when we're not spending empty we're just not getting the value back i mean not empty uh vc but yeah i still haven't spent any which it's, it's sad to see people, like, saying, like, oh, you scumbag, you still buying VC, bro. What do you mean? Y'all have seen my VC in every video, every screenshot. It's been 151, blah, blah, blah. And then I, I have 152 now. I I played I played a blacktop game with, with uh, Taco Falk because I, I saw he was added to my team. And literally, it was the only, not my team, just 2K. It was the only way I could even find out to play with him. Play now, he, he didn't show up with the roster, all this other stuff. I didn't want to make a my GM or anything like that. I just wanted to try out Taco Fall. And, he does play like Taco Bell, so would be kind of cool to get him in my team. But that's it. Little my team video. Something to hold y'all off while y'all watching the games or before the games. I don't know. But just felt like hopping on 2K, ranting, I guess, doing what I do. And yeah, still not spending any money on VC. I know. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse. I I'm going to eventually just stop saying that. But then again, when I have people in the comment section saying, oh, but you, you, you totally went back on what you said. How? How? Like, someone said... Just because I put in the title, I'm not opening packs. Man, I'm not allowed to open any of my team packs. That doesn't even make sense, though. That's not what I'm talking about. Like, I hate when people take things out of context like that. That's out of context. That would mean, like, like if I'm playing Triple Threat, like, oh, you get a pack here? Oh, I can't open that pack. I, I can't open it. I can't. What? Like, am I not allowed to type in lock codes? Am I not allowed to play the game? Like, bro, that's not what I said. I just said I'm not buying VC no more because I don't think the value's there. So, kind of sad that people are doing that. Like, I, like, I literally can't even, again, I took my cards off my account. I'm way too lazy to 
go to the store and actually buy it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do need to go out and buy Modern Warfare that comes out tomorrow. Who knows? I might upload a Rage video on that. I might. I just might. So if y'all see that, go give it a view and give it a like. I don't know. Still thinking on what I want to kind of post some videos and try some different things. Still not 200% sure. I'm just kind of playing it by year, but I don't know. Um, probably not going to be doing a whole bunch more of these pack openings, though, on, like, the heat checks. Like, I've done a couple in two days. Not going to be a trend, so, uh, don't expect that. I might do some videos just talking basketball while playing these challenges or something, and if you don't like them, you don't like them. If you do, you do. I don't know. But we'll see, or maybe we'll trip that online, or maybe we'll just play My Team Unlimited. I don't know. But, hope you guys did enjoy. Just another video. Excited for the NBA season tonight. I hope the Celtics win. Crossing my fingers. <laughs> Um, but we will see. It's going to be a tough one. The Sixers are a very good team, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. And I do have Embiid on my fantasy team, so even if we lose, oh well. <laughs> I, I mean, 82 game season, not stressing it too much. And yeah, I do have my fantasy team, so it does kind of counteract it. So if he goes off for 50, hey, at least my fantasy team's doing well. And hopefully I can win a, you know, some real money in the end of the day, so that's kind of nice. Um, but that's all I got, man. Yeah. Um, Probably going to go watch the game. It's almost game time now. Probably by the time you're seeing this, if you're seeing it when it's uploaded. But that's all I got. Um, yeah, I think we get, like, theme packs later in the week on 2K. Again, not going to open them with VC. Maybe I'll spend a little bit of MT. Um, but, yeah, I'll probably just take a look at the best cards, try them out, and if I like them, I'll make a video on them. That's it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Peace, man.